this video I'm recording under the Ask Patrick series. The students ask me questions regarding preparation and I try to answer to my best of my ability. So this specific question is how do I apply shortcuts in quant? Or how do I improve on my ability to apply shortcuts in quant? So first let's understand what do you mean by shortcuts? Now different version of it. I mean from my talk to people they have a different idea about it. I have a different idea about it. Now, a lot of people believe that a formula that will help you to solve a question fast is a shortcut. I believe it's not. Purely because those will never come in the exam. I mean, normally if you look at a question that comes in the exam and never formula based. So if you mug up 10 formulas and you feel, okay, these are the shortcut methods, I don't think so. Because this is never going to come in the exam. So what do you mean by shortcut approach? Shortcut approach is simple techniques that you can implement for number of questions. So if you have a technique which is there which can only be applied to one type of question, it is not a shortcut approach. A approach which can be applied to number of questions is a shortcut approach which you should focus on. Now why the first one is not a shortcut approach or I would not recommend it? One, because it can be only applied to that question, that type of question may never come in the exam. Second, you will only practice it when you come across a similar question again. If you don't come across a similar question again, you will never be applying it and you will forget about it. Because an approach which you don't keep on practicing, you will never improve on it or you will never be able to, you know, ingrain it in, inside you. So shortcut method or approach is one that you can implement in a number of questions. That is what is important. That means a few stages of how to implement shortcut questions. First, know the approach. If you don't know a shortcut approach, then you cannot practice or implement or do anything about it. So go across, try to learn shortcut approach, a specific shortcut approach from different sources. I mean, if you can find a shortcut approach on your own, fine. If your friends can teach you, great. If you can learn from somewhere, good. The first step is to learn a shortcut approach. Second step in order to improve is then start implementing in different type of question that come along. So that's how you start improving. I mean, that's how you start learning about. Because so if you can again apply only to one type of question and if you don't know how to apply to some other type of question, it doesn't work. So take that approach and start implementing or applying it to different type of questions that are there. That helps you to practice. That helps, helps you also to master that approach. Now, okay, I know the shortcut approach and I've mastered it. But I'm but still students don't apply it in the exam. Why? Because that's not, a, that's not a first method that comes to their mind when they start solving the question. When you solve a question in the exam scenario, which is a stressful situation, you always do what you're habituated to do. So unless shortcut is a habit that you create, it will be very difficult to implement that in the exam. That means the third step out here is to learn to apply shortcut is the first thing that you should do for every sum which my normal application or my normal advice to students is try to solve without pen. The moment you solve without pen, you will then try to apply the shortcut approaches for this. Right? So make a habit that every sum that you write to solve, the first approach that comes to your mind should be the shortcut approach. So I said you told you three steps. One, learn the technique of shortcuts. Second, try to master it by trying to apply to different type of questions. And third is that the first thing that should strike you when you solve. There's also one more reason. Though I tell people that you should learn alternate approach, but too many approaches are very not also very good. Purely because when you learn too many approaches from different different sources, it creates confusion as to what to apply first, what to apply second. So I have few approaches and three, four approaches. And need to know which will apply first, which will apply second, which will apply third. That's how you work on. But anyway, work on those steps, learn the shortcut, master it, and learn to use it first in the application. That should help you apply the shortcuts. Thank you.